All it takes is one bad day. <laughs> Are you joking? You gotta be joking. What up, big kids? Here's my big review of Batman the Killing Joke out on Blu-ray and digital combo pack. I absolutely love this movie. I love The Killing Joke. It's one of my favorite graphic novels of all time. I love this comic for like over two decades. And how does this stack up to the graphic novel? Well, it's a masterpiece. It is pretty much a straight adaptation. However, let's talk about the elf in the room. The reason why is because it has a little backstory to Batgirl explaining what happens to her before the killing joke. It explains the relationship with Barbara Gordon, Batgirl, and Batman. It shows how complex their relationship is and how she's trying to partner up with Batman, how they deal with working together. However, there is a pivotal scene in this that's really going to divide people where some people are going to hate it and some people like me are actually going to think, wow, Wow, this really adds a lot to the character and it doesn't make just Barbara Gordon a plot device for being crippled like in the original graphic novel. All you can say is when you get to this scene just remember that both in the Batman Beyond cartoon and in the comics they definitely have a relationship that was explored before. So to me personally those first 30 minutes really add a lot to the story and don't take away anything from the actual Killing Joke story. It just adds a lot more context to Barbara Gordon and her relationship to Batman. So I really enjoyed that. Now when the movie actually is based on Batman the Killing Joke and it's pretty much a page by page adaptation of the graphic novel and hearing Mark Hamill as the Joker say those lines that Alan Moore once wrote, it is just chill. I always imagine Mark Hamill's voice when I'm reading The Killing Joke over and over again and it is just an amazing performance. There's even a musical number. It's shown in the comics but just having music and having Mark Hamill sing is just absolutely amazing to hear. Kevin Conroy as Batman. He is the Batman. He is the voice we hear when we read comics as Batman and having him with Mark Hamill is just a match made in heaven. Their lines together brings a tear to my face. I mean, I absolutely love Alan Moore's graphic novel and just hearing their voices say these lines, I just, it's a match made in heaven. Tara Strong as Batgirl, she played her back in the animated series and have her return. Uh, her performance was strong and complex and I absolutely love Tara Strong. This is definitely one of my favorite roles. My second favorite Batman role to her uh, Harley Quinn. Ray Wise as Commissioner Gordon, he had a lot of heart to the character, especially a man that's having one bad day. It really is a hard role to having a voice, something so traumatic and he really does an excellent job. Overall, everything I absolutely love about the graphic novel is uh, in this animated film. The animation, even though it's not as beautiful as Brian Boland's artwork. It's still beautiful animation. I love the fight scenes in Batgirl in the beginning and just the overall animation from the uh, flashbacks with the Joker is just absolutely amazing. This movie is beautiful on Blu-ray. I love the sound and there's a few special features that I absolutely love. There's Batman the Killing Joke, the many sides of the Joker which has everyone from Mark Hamill to many people from the film talking about the Joker and how the Killing Joke has influenced the Joker both in the Batman 89 film to The Dark Knight. Talks about how that's a pivotal story for the Joker and has influenced uh, Joker in many mediums since. Madness set to music. It talks about the score for the movie, how it's really great adding a beautiful score to one of the most beloved graphic novels of all time and how even the musical number with Mark Hamill singing was really fun to really make music for. We also get a sneak peek at uh, Justice League Dark which has Mark Ryan returning as Constantine. It's really cool that we'll see Zantana, Dead Man, many others in this uh, film coming uh, this fall. So really cool behind the scenes. We also get a behind the scenes look at Batman the Dark Knight Returns Part 1, Part 2, and Batman Assault on Arkham. Those films have been out for a while, but I absolutely love those, so it's cool that they included them, I guess. And from the DC Vault, Batman the Animated Series, Christmas with the Joker, as well as The New Adventures, Old Wounds, both amazing episodes, both Lumen and Joker, so really great additions to include with the special features. Overall, if you're a huge fan of the Killing Joke graphic novel, you'll absolutely love this movie. If you're really divided about the first 30 minutes, it's really 
how you feel about Barbara Gordon and uh, Bruce Wayne's relationship. But if you look past that and look at it as something that adds to the complexity of the story, you'll I think you'll love it. And I definitely recommend this for fans of Batman, the Joker, and especially the Mark Hamill Joker and uh, Kevin Conroy Batman. This is an amazing movie and I give it a 5 out of 5. So definitely recommend getting this. Between this and Suicide Squad, I think it's a great week for DC. Definitely don't listen around in tomatoes. I love both of these films. So for more, check out my website at seanxlong.com. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, links in the description. I'm Sean Long. Remember, live long and love life. You want to hear a bad joke? What do you call a critic that has a bad taste for movies and vegetables? Rotten tomatoes. <laughs> I need to ask you an important question. Ah, I need to whiten my teeth. No, but you need a breath.